Good morning, it's great to see you again today. <clears throat> it's Monday, 27th of April. Trust you had a good weekend. And uh, it's good to see the Prime Minister back at, at Downing Street. It's good to see him back looking so well. And uh, we, should, we should praise God for that. And uh, just continue to pray for him. Pray for him, for wisdom, for the government, that they will make good decisions, right decisions, that their lives will be saved. And <clears throat> pray that God's kingdom would come, God's kingdom would be advanced through this, this terrible virus, that, um, you know, the good would come from this, that good would come from this. That's, that's my prayer, is we come with, you know, we don't look at the bad news and there's plenty of bad news out there, <clears throat> but we pray that the good would come from it. It's great to see all the amazing things that people are doing in this country and uh, raising money and, and, and giving of themselves. That's a really fantastic thing. What God's been, how people's hearts and lives have been changed and have been um, touched. But my prayer is that God's kingdom will be advanced in this time. God's kingdom will be advanced. That His name will be glorified once again. And so, <clears throat> I'm on one John four verse five, and it says, this, "These those people belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoint, and the world listens to them." Well, whose people is this? Well. <clears throat> At the beginning of chapter 4, it says, discerning false prophets. It speaks about people who are speaking from a worldly point of view. And it says in verse 4, it says, but you belong to God, my dear children. So you Christians, you dear children, you have already won the victory over these people. Because the spirit who lives in you is greater <coughs> than he who lives in the world. And those people belong to this world. So they speak from the world's viewpoint. And the world listens to them. It's interesting. The people from the world, they don't live, they don't understand God's principles. They don't un <coughs> live by the principles of God's kingdom. God's kingdom, he turns everything on its head. Jesus, <coughs> when he came and lived on this earth, he turned everything on his head. He said he came. Uh, they thought he was coming as a king. Jesus actually came. He said, no, actually, I've come to serve. I've come to serve. And they thought he was going to come king, and be a king and kick out all the enemies and all that kind of stuff. But actually, Jesus came to serve, demonstrated by on that day when he had the Last Supper, that actually he washed his disciples' feet. You see, his kingdom, it's a topsy-turvy kingdom, he turns things upside down. And there's a great verse in the Bible, one of the verses I love, and there's a song, a <coughs> kid's song that we used to sing when I was a youth worker, and it was, the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. And it's taken straight, it's taken straight from the Bible, but the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strengths. You see, because the way God works, the way God thinks, is different to us. <clears throat> and the world says, "No, you, this is this is how we should. This is how we should act. This is how we should, you know, react." But God says this: "No, that you love your enemies." Now, the, you know, the Bible, the, the world doesn't say that. You know, it doesn't say like we don't harm your enemies necessarily. Well, actually, in some places they do. But it's, you know, do what you like as long as you don't hurt anyone. Uh, or, 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 you know, those are kind of principles. But Jesus, because he says, he said, love your enemy, you know, love your neighbour as yourself. And there, he, when he talked about this, it was the Samaritans who were the enemies of the Jews. So he said, love your neighbour as yourself. And that includes your enemies. Love your neighbour as yourself. You reap what you sow. So if you, if you sow discord, if you sow... Um, uh, unrest, if you sow those kind of things, those are the things that you will reap. But actually, um, in the world, it seems that the, the, the possession, the, the pursuit of money and, and, and possessions and things is the be all and end all, and people admire those above all kind of things. <clears throat> but they might to have done that, they might have done some not very good things, they might have trodden on people, they might have stepped over people, they might have, uh, you know, crushed people. You reap what you sow. The Bible also says that I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The world says, well, look, you know, yes, I'm perhaps not what I should be, but, you know, if I go on a, a self-awareness, of course, I'll do this and do that and do the other, I can make myself better. <clears throat> but actually, the Christian, the God's kingdom says, actually, that we can become new creations in Christ Jesus, that Christ will come and live within us, the Holy Spirit will come and live within us. And that's totally another, again, totally alien thing to the world. But the Holy Spirit will come and live within us, that we will be changed, that we've been bought with a price, and that we've been changed. And the Holy Spirit changes us, convicts us, and turns our heart towards Jesus. <clears throat> so the world doesn't think, the world doesn't think the way we think. 
So it's not surprising that the, the work that the people are not Christians. They don't listen to us at times and they kind of criticize and they persecute us when we're doing things God's way because they don't understand. They're just not on the same page when it comes to these things. In fact, God says, your ways are not my ways. But for us as Christians, we want to live God's way. God's way. Loving our enemies. Reaping what we sow and sowing good things. Let's sow, let's make sure as Christians we sow good things. We sow good things into people's life. We sow hope. We sow love. We sow goodness. We sow generosity. We sow all those kind of things into people's lives. Because God's ways are not the world's ways. And to be successful in the world's ways, often it's contrary to God's kingdom and have to do things that are contrary to that. <clears throat> but I would rather do things God's way. And just get all kinds of stuff and just do things the way the world plays, by the world's rules. I would rather do things God's way. Because ultimately, one day we'll stand before him to give an account of our lives. To, and, um, and it's an awesome thing, to, it talks about it in the Bible, it's an awesome thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And so my prayer is that today, this week, <clears throat> that we will be Christians, that we will be lovers of Jesus, that we would demonstrate God's love in, in the way that Jesus did, that we would live uh, <clears throat> Christian it means follower of Christ, disciple of Christ, that we would truly be the disciples of Christ. We would live our lives the way Jesus lived his life. We would do the things that he did. We would speak the way he spoke. He said, I only do the things I hear the Father saying. I only do the things I see the Father doing. That is my prayer for us today. So Father, I just thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your word. Lord, thank you that we are not of this world, but Lord, that we are in of your kingdom, Lord God. Help us to live according to that. Lord, I ask that today you would just fill us with your spirit right now. We just say, Holy Spirit, presence, come right now. Presence of the Holy Spirit, just come right now. Just embrace the Holy Spirit right now. Just say, come, Holy Spirit. Come, wash over me today. Move in my life today. Change me today. Make me more like your son, Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for your, thank you for your presence with us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Listen, hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Amen.